furnace is making a whole bunch of racket. Really high pitched squeal. You can hear it over there right now. Time to fix that, I think. It's actually a lot quieter than it was. Fire! Fire, 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 fire. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm actually down here in my mechanical room. My furnace has been making a lot of squealing noise lately and I think it's time to replace the inducer fan motor. Um, I did spray it with a little bit of WD-40 or PV blaster, I can't remember which. That actually helped the squealing go away for a couple of weeks, but it's back. So I ordered a new part to replace it. Today's video is going to be me replacing that, so stay tuned to watch that. Here is my furnace and air handler down in the mechanical room. I've already gone upstairs and actually turned off the thermostat so it's at the off position. But there's a couple other things I'm going to do as well. Right here is my furnace and there's the emergency off switch so I'm going to turn this off. And also I'm going to turn off the gas right here. Next thing to do is unbolt, unbutton this and actually remove this service cover. That way we can actually get into the guts of this thing and start taking pieces apart. This is actually the part. It's actually not this, it's behind here. You can actually see the little motor back here that actually needs to be replaced, but this has got a lot of dust on it. Probably from all of the construction I've been doing down here recently. Probably had some dust get actually into that bearing and then start to wear it out. This furnace is about 13 years old, so it's probably time anyway. So I'm going to get in here, remove all these pieces out. Take special note of how these wires are attached. Right here, this one is a white wire. It's on the right, and the black wire is on the left. So make sure that we when, make sure that when we reattach these things, that we'll actually put this one. The, the white one will go on this side, and the black one will go on that side. Well, I had to jerry rig the most ridiculous setup ever because. These bolts are actually, instead of being a regular Phillips head, are a one quarter inch, not metric, and this is the only thing I have that is one quarter inch drive that is now plugged into an eight millimeter. Anyway, that's annoying. Let's get these things removed. All right, so now that I got these three removed, one, two, three, there's also a ground right here that attaches right underneath. You can't, it's hard to see right there, but there are also two other bolts. One's there and one is there. And that actually holds the motor in place. So you have to remove those as well. Then we'll take, then we'll be able to remove the whole thing. All right, that's the last one. Should come out now. Out it comes just like that this is the motor it's actually this piece right here that's the motor it has bearings inside that have gone bad so this will have to be removed and I think also right here this will be removed as well because this passes through to actually get this thing off so I'm gonna spray that with PB blaster because it's been on there for 13 years and we're gonna pop this off as well Hopefully I don't lose that little uh, retaining clip as I remove it. In this box is the replacement part. This is the new motor. So we'll be replacing this on there. Let's get working. Spray it down first things first. We'll put that on. We'll let that sit for probably a good five or ten minutes. Let it soak in. I'll come back in a minute. All right, now I'll admit this is, uh, I've been working on this for a good bit of time. And finally I was able to break that thing free, this little set screw on here. You know, after saying a few prayers and hoping that I didn't absolutely destroy this thing. Thankfully it came free, so I'm actually just loosening this now. And then I should be able to remove the set screw and slide this off. I'll be honest, I think this is a really poor design, but what do I know? This is a 1 8 inch Allen key. 
that thankfully I had on hand. Most of the tools that I have are metric. Um, I don't have a lot of standard tools. Thankfully, the stuff that I did need, I actually had in my toolbox, which is good. Almost. There it is. Set screw removed. All right, that's removed. Take these bolts off so that way I can transfer this over to the new motor. And let's do that now. That's it. Now I can transfer that over to the new one. I got this piece transferred onto the new motor, and I'm going to put this on, get this so get this basket put back on, and then the set screw tied down. There's a flat piece to this motor edge, or there's a flat piece to this bar, so that's where the set screw is going to go. So we just line that up, put it on. Having fat fingers doesn't help either, by the way. You know what? I'm going to get this set first. It helps if you get the screw started in there just a little bit before you put it down. That should help. There we go. Now it's all tightened on there. Now all we gotta do is put the fan on the back of there, put this thing back on, we're done. Alright, I got the fan off. I forgot to film it, sorry. I mangled this thing getting it off, so I'll, have, I'll probably... I will put this on and see if it stays, but I will probably order a new one of these clips and actually replace it. But in the meantime, let's put this thing back together and see how it works. There it is, all put back together. Let's throw it in the furnace and turn it on, see how it sounds. Our first screw in. All right, now this bottom one down here, you have to make sure you remember to attach or reattach the ground. All right, now we just gotta put these last ones in here that have the rubber isolators and plug it all back in and we should be done. All right, I got it all set now. Everything's bolted back in. We had these two leads that we had to hook up. The white wire was on the right hand side and the black wire was on the left hand side. We're just going to reconnect those now. Make sure those are on nice and snug. all connected again give it a quick once over make sure everything is back in place all the bolts are snug down the motor spins freely and the wiring and everything is reattached that you didn't accidentally knock any other wires loose turn the gas back on here all right back here I'm gonna turn this on so now I'm gonna run upstairs real quick and I'm gonna go and turn the furnace back on and we'll see if this thing kicks on and Hopefully it's quiet and not making a whole lot of squealing noises, all right? Let's test it out.
That looks good. It's getting ready to fire now. Success. There you go, that motor is perfectly quiet. All right, well there you go. I'll put a link down in the description of the part that I used. I actually, actually bought the part off of Amazon. It was just under $100. If you're a little bit handy and you got some tools at home, you can do this yourself and actually save yourself a bunch of money. I have seen other people say that they have spent upwards of $800 to $1,000 to actually have a, a heating and uh, to actually have an HVAC company come out and replace this for them. And I don't know exactly what all that was. Maybe that was a diagnostics fee. Maybe they replaced the whole motor with the blower assembly and everything all together. Maybe the parts were more expensive. But anyway, for $100 in parts, do this yourself. Save yourself a bunch of money. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.